let's pull it back and just do a full on stretch workout. I call this, you know, finding the fountain of youth, your fountain of youth, stretching, releasing, stretching yoga workout. Gonna throw a lot of stuff at you. You can modify as needed. Make sure you warmed up before you begin. Do it at the end of a workout. I wanna show you some stretches you've seen before and some you have not, but focusing on lengthening those muscles. All the stuff we cherish here at SeanVigFitness.com at our vault, getting as fit and as healthy and as stretched as possible. So here we go. All right, cap on. Weird superstition there. As always, I said, you're warmed up. You might wanna tuck in your shirt. It's gonna keep flowing, breathing into these stretches. Wanna hold them for a certain amount of time. I'll try to keep the talking to a minimum because I wanna stretch right along with you. That is the point, that we do it together. We uh, find that fountain of youth together. All right, let's take your right foot forward. Start with a low lunge right here. Take the knee right above the ankle. Take this back knee. And we're just gonna press forward a little bit to open up your hip flexor right here. Get a lot of emails from you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Big one is tight hip flexors right in here. It's like, well, there's lots of stretches we can do for that. So begin here, low lunge, drawing forward. Each exhale, press forward a little bit more. Make sure the knee doesn't go past the toes. There we are. Nice stretch, nice stretch. Kind of moving around a little bit in there. Get to work on that hip flexor. Stretching like a warrior. You have a mat, you have a small patch of grass, you don't need anything else to really train, to train your mind and your body together. Oh, there we are, a little twist side to side. Been hitting my workouts pretty hard lately, had a really big one yesterday, so this is very exciting for me. Okay, a little reach back. Now you can take your hands if you like, you can have them on top of your thigh, hold it here, or take the arms back. We're going to relax the shoulders just slowly with the exhales that the fingers go a little uh, closer to the mat. Relax this lower back. If you want a little support, take the hands on your lower back. Of course, we'll do both sides of these. It'd be foolish to just do one side. What is this, amateur hour? Got reaching back, reaching back. You can even lace the fingers together. Open up a little more, a little mudra here. All right, one more. Oh, beautiful. Let's add the twist. Take the left hand down. Take this right arm to your lower back and just draw that shoulder back with each exhale. Good, we got the shade today. It's nice, we got a breeze. We have the breath flowing as we open up our bodies. Fountain of Youth, Ponce de Leon. Actually, he looked in Florida for that Fountain of Youth. He should have come right to this spot where we're doing this stretch. Of course, in a time machine. <sighs> All right, a little more. Twisting, twisting, twisting. Now, let me show you a stretch I do every night. It's one of my favorites, in addition to these others, of course. But you're going to take the hands or forearms down to the center. And you're just going to draw yourself forward a little bit. So you're opening this hip right here. You can drop it out to the side, at you know, God willing. And then draw forward. So you're taking this hip flexor and just stretching it out. It's like being on the massage table. I love this. I usually put a book or a magazine under here and just read while I do it. So you're feeding the brain as you're feeding the body. Stretch, stretch, stretch. All right, lead this right into the pigeon. So take this foot, bring it in, drop it down. Slide that leg back and let's lift up nice and tall in the pigeon. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lengthen forward just a little bit. Good, and then lift, inhale. Make sure the ants aren't getting my feet. Lengthen. Oh, that's nice. Lift. Third time's a charm. Let's lengthen down. Now, we're not going to settle for this pigeon, my friends. We're going to rock a little side to side. I find that when I go over towards the leg, oh, man. This, like, little hidden compartments of, of tension. You can just flow right into them and wash them out of your body. Because either you find time to stretch or you find time for a lot of pain, a lot of disappointment in life. Definitely messes with your mind, with your productivity, with your focus. <sighs> Tension causes irritability. 
bad relationships. It really, yeah, it seeps into every part of your life. <laughs> side to side. Good. All right, one last thing down here while we're in the pigeon. Actually, two last things. I'm going to hip this side. We're going to do a little twist. So you could do two things. You can take that right arm forward and slide the left arm underneath, threading the needle. That's a beautiful thing right there. The, the challenge is not to roll onto your left side, or this is called the prayer twist. A little more advanced. You take your left arm to the whoop. Sound effects included to the leg. Take the palms together and just draw back. We got a prayer twist in pigeon. Hold here, let's breathe. Good, stretching solo as a warrior. I just love that theme. I'm carrying it over into some of my YouTube videos as well. Inspired by the vault videos. Get a little sweat there, sorry. All right, fantastic. One last thing is promised. Once you lift that back leg up, take the left hand to the ground, reach the right hand back. A little more advanced if this is too much, just stay in pigeon. We call this full, full pigeon, two folds. And I assume you go to uh, classes wherever you live. You might take yoga classes, core classes, boot camp, anything. You might come across same poses but different names. There are different names for these poses. People name them differently, some different books, wherever you get them from. Sometimes I just make them up what they look the most like. But as long as they're emphasizing the instructor is good form, lots of breath, and good form. All right, release. Let's step it back, down dog, for a moment. Walk the legs out before we go to the other side. And feel that stretch, little adjustments in the spine, the knee coming in towards the center. I feel like there's things on me the whole time. There we are. <laughs> All right, one more time, each leg. Beautiful. All right, take the left foot forward. Low lunge, fix the blouse. Get off the mat. All right. I hope I inspire a lot of you that don't live in Florida or, you know, just come visit sometimes, go to Disney. You know, don't be scared off by the gators. They're really harmless if you don't bother them. I have a lot of people that are terrified of them, and rightfully so, but you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. So right knee, right above the ankle, we have the low lunge. Little side to side twist, opening up the lower back, finding those hidden compartments. Breathe. Whew. Yeah, feel that twist, hip flexor getting a stretch all around. The dog is prowling back there by the wood. She's dug a big hole. Uh, she's digging more of <laughs> She's going to China, evidently. All right, let's reach back, lift up, make the little adjustments, calculations for the jump to light speed, and here we are. Fingers reaching towards the floor. Open that magnificent chest. Have you seen my chest? Yes. Keep the balance, eyes up, you can close your eyes if you like. Get a better chance to really absorb what your body is doing in the stretch. And if you like, want more, lace the fingers. There we are, palms can even be together, a little mudra. Oh, hip flexors, balance, all the good stuff coming together. Look and feel great now and for the rest of your life, my friend. Okay, woo, add the twist, take the hand down, and we go to the left. Use this arm, ow, little, for a little extra twist. This arm here, you can drop it down a little more. Still attacking that hip flexor in the back. Keep going, sorry. Big red ants. There we go. Fountain of youth with ants. Okay, now. 
take those hands to the center, my friends, or the forearm. As we draw forward a little bit, working side to side, feel free to take this hip and drop it out to the side a little more. There we are. Ooh. It all comes together. Back and forth before we go into the pigeon. Not yet in the pigeon. Getting close. Feel that body rejuvenating. Tell you, wake up the next morning after a good stretch, you feel great. You feel like you're back in high school or college. Those days when you never ever thought about stretching. You didn't have any aches and pains. If you did, they'd be gone within like five, ten seconds. Your body recovers so fast. But I like the idea of having to really care for my body. It still feels great. Hope it looks great. But it takes a little care, and I like that. It makes you respect everything more. All right. And now, pigeon time. Open the hip. Bring the foot out. Find your pigeon. Starting up nice and tall. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take it forward a little bit. Opening up the, this left hip right here into the glute. Lift. And lengthen. Third time's a charm. You're gonna bring it down. Find the pigeon first, and then if you like, rock side to side. Keep it smooth. Side to side before we add a twist in. I always get an adjustment if I go to this side and pull on that hip flexor. I think I already got one today though. It's like a little pop down there because my lower back, my right lower back, it's one part of my body that gets tight once in a while. And I do that little adjustment, just releases it right before I go to bed usually. On the floor, by the dog. Try not to wake my wife up. She's sleeping. I'm just dragging myself all over the floor. That's what it's like to live with Sean B. <laughs> I'm always doing some weird stretch or something. All right, now, twist. Take the arm, thread it underneath. Remember we have thread the needle or you can do the more advanced prayer twist. Take this, oh wait, take this. Your right arm to the leg. I'm a little sweaty, so I might slip a little bit. Let me bring that leg in a little closer. And twist. Okay, back to pigeon or the full. Take the right hand down, reach back with your left hand. Stretching your hip flexor. Oh, and the quad right on the top of your right leg. Lifting up tall. You can also take the fingers to the top of the foot, onto the toes. And move a little bit around. It's like a joystick on the old Atari 2600. I'm dating myself. I'm not actually dating myself. I'm dating myself as far as the date. <laughs> Here we are. Nice stretch. A little bit more. A little bit more. Beautiful. All right. Release it. Bring it back to downward facing dog. Let's walk the legs out. Slowly back and forth. Whew. Feels like I just got a massive massage in my legs and my back. One more time, each leg, stretch it out. Come into a pyramid stretch. You're gonna love this one. Let's bring your right foot forward. You're gonna lengthen this leg. If it's too much, just drop the left knee down. From here, with each exhale, I want you to stretch out right behind the back of that knee and feel what that does, right to the front of your leg, to your shins, to your tendons here, to your calf. Each exhale, lengthen, and try to bring the nose closer to the knee. So exhale, stretch. Fingers are down here for some support as you stretch. All right, two more times. Big length in here. We're going to hold this. I got a new hand position for you. You're just going to love. Stretch it out. Now, we did the mudra before. You can add it on here. Take the arms back, lace the fingers, and 
try to bring your upper body towards the inside of that right leg. My balance is, oh, it's a little, I'm moving a little bit. Find your focus. And that is trying to fly in my mouth. Bring the arms back. There we go. Fountain of youth, my friends, opening up the chest. Your breath is opening up. You're stretching your legs. Your whole body is in on it. Whew. Looking and feeling younger with every breath. One more big breath. Oh, fantastic. All right, shake out the arms for a second. Let's switch it. Take the right foot back, shake it out for a moment, and now left foot forward. There we are. We got the mudra. This leg is going to get so much great attention here. Reveal the compartments of tension. Here we go. Stretch. Inhale, soften. Exhale, lengthen. Take it easy, we got a little time here. Take this time, spend it now. If you don't have time for the whole routine, my friends, just break it up into parts. Watch it a number of times, practice it, and pick pieces from it. You salvage, we're always salvaging. We like to mix it around. And the more you do them, you feel where they are working. So when certain areas of your body are tight, you know which stretches to add in. This is great if you're feeling some stretch, some tension in the, in the shin area in the IT band, in the calves. All right, one more time, stretch, hold here, or mudra calls. Lace the fingers, itch the nose. There we are. That's a tough one. You gotta use the core. Keep drawing the arms back. Upper body towards the inside of the leg. Oh man, I got softened for a second here. That's intense. All right. Step back. Down dog. Bring the legs together. Let's sway side to side. Loosen up the sides. Stretch out the arms, shoulders. Exhale to the side. Inhale to the center. One more time, each direction. Nice. Take the knees down. Walk them forward. Folding leaf stretch. Woo! Related to leaf garret, perhaps. Take the legs forward. We shake them out. Fix the junk. Shoulders back. Start here. Legs are a couple inches apart. Just going to reach forward, grab the toes, feet, ankles, wherever you can, as far as you can. That's your starting point. With each exhale, here we go. Hitting that pattern, press the backs of the knees down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lengthen. And again. Take it two more times. Once more, as far as you're ever going to lengthen, think Fountain of Youth. Keep thinking that like a, ma like a mantra in your head. Stretch it out. Okay, sit up tall. Shake it out. Now take your right leg, cross it over your left. You're going to like this one. Press the back of this left knee down. You're going to feel this on the outside of that left leg. Grab the toes, if you're able, or the legs. I'm going to draw the toes apart with each exhale. Lengthen forward. And of course, with each inhale, soften the knee, lift it up a little bit, and then press it down as you stretch. This stretch, the cross-legged one, has saved me. It saved me a couple years ago when I was in Montana. Like for some reason, my wife and I go to Montana every year. That's not for some reason we just do that, but for some reason, my IT bands, especially on my right leg, got tight. And that's no good, because we hike so much while we're there. And I would just do this stretch both sides, also a standing version. I just do it, you know, for about 20 seconds and it just disappeared, the tension there, just loosened it right up. So a wonderful lesson to be had, because who wants to be in Montana and not be able to hike? That just stinks, like being at Disney and not being able to go on Space Mountain. Or coming to Orlando and not being able to go to my classes. Exhale one more time. Oh, there 
there's a stretch. And now we switch, shake out the legs, take the left leg, cross it over the right. Draw the toes out. When you're ready, you ready, my friends? Let's go. Let's make it happen. Press the back of your right knee down with the exhale. You're spilling forward, but you're lifting. You inhale, lift. The inhale always gives you a chance to kind of reach a little higher to fix the posture and then lengthen with the exhale. We're very serious about our stretching at Sean Vig Fitness. You can go off, you do whatever kind of workout you like. There's so many options out there. Not just what I teach, but there's you know a lot of weight training stuff, which I do. There's CrossFit, there's P90, there's Insanity, all those things, but make sure you stretch. You always want to end with a stretch. When your muscles are warm, all right, one more time. Oh, I'm getting kind of hooked on this one. All right, let's bring it up. Turn and face the front after a good shake. Fix the blouse. And take the bottoms of your feet together. We have the famous butterfly. Doing the butterfly always reminds me of when I did cross-country running and track. We would do it. But looking back, we didn't do it very well. Did a lot of bouncing with the legs. Weren't very focused. We do it before we would exercise before we were warmed up, not after. So I want you to take your hands to the feet here. Now use your elbows. These are a great little, uh, little helper right here, these elbows. As you exhale, you're going to hinge forward and open those hips. I think I'm still in the frame. We're in widescreen right now in the high definition. With each exhale, lengthen forward, opening the hips. No matter where you start, you will only improve in this stretch. I guarantee it. The only way to not improve is to not do it. So I'll keep reminding you. Lengthen, lengthen. Oh, happy hips. Got the insides right here, the hips. The knees getting a good stretch, the back. You could even bring it all the way down. I'm not gonna stick my face into the grass. Thank you very much, I'm not gonna do that, but you can. If you're in the, your living room, you're on your mat, just bring it down, work your way up to it. Now from here, you can move on to the extended butterfly. Love this one, been teaching this one a lot in my classes. Works the core a little more, works the balance. Take your uh, fingers, wrap them around the feet, and then sit up tall. Drop the shoulders down, open the chest, and as you're doing that, pull the feet in. There we are, so we get the hip opener. Now we're working the arms and the shoulders. Our, my posture feels really good posture, the proper alignment of your body, shoulders away from the ears, chest is open, my abs are tight. Every time I exhale, I'm squeezing my abs. I got, oh, I got happy toes. Stop. Okay, there we go. Can't stop the happy toes. <laughs> Fountain of youth, happy toes. If Steve Martin did stretching, there you go. I've got happy feet. There we are. All right, you want a little bit more, you can even cross the legs, grab the feet, Pull in like this. Check this out. Shoulders back and down. Elbows are into the sides. Oh, fell. Just demonstrating that. Of course, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Breathe into it. Posture. Posture. That breeze is blowing me down. Good. There we are. All right. Straddle stretch. Take those feet out. Luckily, I'm flexible enough. I don't have to bring my feet into the grass, but nice big stretch here. Take the hands behind, lift up a little bit, adjust. Okay, let's walk the hands forward. As far as you can go, every exhale, bring it forward. Massive stretch as always. I'm going to keep the elbows down, but each exhale I'm going to draw forward. I'm going to inhale, lift a little bit, and then lengthen. Five breaths. Here comes two. You can walk the figures as far forward as you like. Three, and even take the hands out here to the ankles. Work up to it. You could use the hands to open the hips a little more also. Got all these nice little devices already built into your body. Last one. And now take the hands over to your right leg. Wherever you can, you're gonna look at the leg, you're gonna exhale, lengthen on top of it. This leg is reaching away. So we have constant opposition. Reach away, stretch this way. Rhyme. 
There we are, back of the knee pressing down. Ooh, yeah. All right, other side. Find the imbalances, my friends. Find them and fix them. Imbalance on your car. There's an imbalance in the wheels and the tires. You have to get realigned or, or rotate the tires around. You wouldn't put up with that. Don't put up with it in your own body. Because cars will come and go, but your body, you, you're stuck with it. You got it. You can't do a body swap. This isn't Total Recall. <laughs> I don't even think I understood that movie, but I think there was somebody who was swapping. <laughs> So do the best with what you have. Take care of it. Cherish it. Doing all these videos, running my own fitness brand always inspires me to, to do better because I want to share it with you guys. It's so fun. We're dealing with health and fitness. One more big exhale, my friends. Stretch. Whew. All right. Now take this left arm up and over. Side bend. Reach it up. You can have this forearm down or the hand for protection. Each exhale lengthen a little bit more. We're just hitting the big spots here. These are big stretches. Oh, that's lovely. Keep lengthening. Draw the shoulder back. I'm going to have to do a part two of this for next month. We'll see what the feedback is. I know I get a lot of uh, comments or requests for stretching, different kinds of stretches. Go the other side. I got a whole arsenal for you. I can always, you know, we, we could revisit the classics. We could add new variations, and there's just so many out there. I write them down. I remember them. I have a whole library. Everything that I do, I keep adding to it every day like the Library of Congress, the Library of Fitness. You could draw the shoulder back and stretch it out. There we go. Make the necessary adjustments. Okay. On that thing, bring the hands behind you. You're just going to take the fist down or the fingers and lift up. Nice little core work. Stretch the legs a little bit more. There we go. Hi there. I feel like I should be in the uh, flash dance video right now. What a feeling. If that's the... Yeah, I think that's the... Is that the song? All right, bring it down. Now let's take the legs in, give them a good shake. I'll turn, face this way, shake them out. And now we're coming to what we call hero stretch. Watch this. Ow, I just hit my knee. All right, my friends. I'm gonna add something called the cow face to this too. So this is a variation of hero. Now I'm sitting on my heels. If this is too much, this bothers your knees, just sit cross-legged, okay? Now, if you want a little more, you could bring the feet out to the sides. There we are. Stretching the knees. Again, if there's any discomfort, doesn't feel right to you, sit cross-legged. Now, the cow face part of it, we're sitting up nice and tall. So we got that posture. I have the hands on the tops of the thighs. I want you to take this is your left arm. I'll mirror, mirror you. Take your left arm, drop it to the back. So my palm is facing my back. I'm going to take the other arm around until I can connect the fingers. If you can't connect the fingers, just reach them as far as you can towards each other. It's called cow face. I really don't know why. I'm a bad yogi. I should do more research. Ask why it's called cow face. And you just want to open up your chest. Drop the shoulders down. You're staying nice and tall, so you're not slumping forward. If that's the case, relax your grip a little bit on the cow face. And just sit here, breathe. Just take five deep inhales and exhales. We got two more inhales and exhales. Good. My neck is long. Back of the neck is long. And once more. Okay. Release. Come out of this for a second. The knees get a little tight. We shake it out. Whew. Don't worry. We'll come back to it. In just a moment. 
shake it out, keep the arms, legs, and the limbs loose, right, Addy? And she dug a hole, she's gone. She's heading to China. Let's we'll go get her back. Okay, now we'll do the other side. So, feet can be under the glutes, remember, or cross legged, or take the knees or the feet out. Now, other side. This is a side I'm tighter on. Take this right arm, voice cracks, and then we. There we go. I got my fingers together. Been doing this more and more because I was a little tight at first. I don't want to do a pose or a stretch for you unless I can, you know, do it with some good integrity. And let's breathe. There we are. I get I got an email the other day. Someone asked me what is the toughest workout ever? And I've been thinking about that for a while. I mean your first instinct is to say, well, lifting really heavy or running a marathon which can be very challenging but I think I'll do a vlog about it because it's really different for each person sitting here like this it's difficult for me to just sit here and breathe to sit here and focus to some people this might be really simple to others this might be the most challenging thing you will ever do to sit and just breathe to meditate to stretch so there it is watch for that vlog on my YouTube page all right release Oh man, I'm gonna feel that. Quads, knees, shake out the legs. Oh, fantastic, my friends. Extended boat and balancing bear, then a little cool down, and we're good to go, my friends. That is your, this will be your February, your last workout in February on the vault. We start all over again with some variation of yoga next week. Keep it interesting. Okay, so keep those requests coming. Extended boat. Now you can keep it here if you like. You can take the fingers right or the hands on the hamstrings, drawing the knees in, shoulders down, posture, or extend the legs up. Grab the ankles, it's the nose, and there we are. With each exhale, great to do after the hero pose. We can really stretch out the legs, get some movement. With each exhale, lengthen. Inhale, soften. A lot of balance going on. You're all Pilates people. If you roll back, you'll just roll right back up. You're very resilient. Ha ha ha. Let's do it five more times. One. Stretch the hamstrings. Take the elbows out to the sides a little bit. Two. Three. Very nice. Four. One more time. Five, into the balancing bear. Now you could, again, take the hands to your hamstrings if you want, just open up the hips here. Working on the balance, you can easily drop the heels down or the full grizzly bear experience. Let's take the legs out. There we are. Drop the shoulders. I'm sorry, I should be facing you. Enjoy my balancing bear. There we are. Careful where you do this fantastic pose but you know dropping the shoulders and for the record I know I did this in a video a few months ago for the vault I have seen photos of bears doing this really big bears you would never make fun of them we got the balance going keep drawing the legs apart a little bit more lengthen from behind the knee fingers a little sweaty they slip we just adjust great stretch always throw balance just when you think you know where this video is going, let's change it up. All right, bring it down. Woo. All right, guys, let's come down onto our backs. Bring the knees in, rocking side to side, wiggle the fingers and the toes. I'm ending here on, on our backs. You could always leave this part out, but this is a great stretch to do before you go to bed. So if you want to end you in a good spot, you could just lay down and go to sleep wherever you are or finish in bed. Like you do it at the foot of the bed on the floor, then just get in bed, rock side to side, disturb whoever's in bed with you. Let's circle those knees. Again, my wife. She actually, she, she sleeps right through it. I always read at night in bed for about an hour, and I do all these different kinds of stretches. If she ever opened her eyes, she'd see, like, my foot right above her face. I never disturb her. But I like to, you know, I'm warm in bed, I'm relaxed, I'm happy. I'm reading, which I love to do, and other directions. So 
it's a wonderful time to just loose it up kind of take stock of the day because my days are very very active between teaching and filming and my own workouts and all the other things that I do for my brand because the brand just started as a side thing and then it just ballooned it exploded got a major book deal we'll just signed that a couple weeks ago more information on that later you know the the vault is worldwide things are just really really blossoming and I like I love it because we keep it really simple we go out and we do real solid workouts Keep it simple. We do the only the best. All right, drop the legs side to side, all the way down. I'll keep them a little bit off because I'm a little afraid of going in the grass. <laughs> Back and forth, tips of the toes down. There we go, the windshield wipers. Arms over the head. Okay, one last little hip stretch here. Loose hips or happy hips? Loose hips is a happy you. Take the hands, inner thighs. I think we've running, we're running over time a little bit, but that's okay. This is the vault. You are the exclusive, the special members. And I appreciate you more than you can imagine for, for signing onto this vault. I love it. It's so great for me to be able to write out and, and perform these longer sequences because that is what we want. We want the whole through line. Okay. Now slide the legs down. We're going to reach side to side. So take your arms over your head. You're going to reach to the right and take your right leg up and over. Full stretch down the diagonal. Back and forth. Do this at the end of my classes. Pilates, yoga, whatever it is. Not spinning because we don't get down on the floor. We do a lot of stretches. All right, one more time each side. And now embryo pose. Bring it onto your side. This is the favorite one from my classes. Bring the knees in. Find the most comfortable position you can for a few moments here. Focus on your breath. From here on out, my friends, you can just go to sleep from right here if it's, if it's bedtime. If you're at work, if you're in the office, don't go to sleep. You might get in trouble. And don't blame me. <laughs> Take some deep breaths right here. Focus your mind on the breathing. And either go to sleep or come on up and that my friends oh that was something i just went in that beautiful zone there shake out the arms that is your fountain of youth warrior workout can't ask for more than that this is a whole sequence do it right through or you know do a piecemeal take little bits and pieces and do them here and there that's what's so great about these they're like legos you just mix and match that's how i work out a lot and it's yours it's yours Share it, tell people about the vault, tell your friends and family. Let's